Welcome back. We're going to start off with this photo. This is from Teresa out of Placitas. Excuse me, a little picture of a quail she shot there. Thank you for that photo. She sent it to report it at krqe.com. We welcome you to keep doing that. We get some great photos from you guys, and we love showing them off. So let's get to the satellite radar. We're seeing some light uh, activity, rain showers in the southern part of the state, a very weak storm that is quickly starting to exit, but then all eyes will be uh, to the north. That's where our next storm is going to uh, enter the region. So this little uh, ditty makes its way out of our area. It's going to go on and do bigger and better things over in the southeastern part of the state, causing a lot of problems there, but not much out of that for us. But as we look uh, to the north, a little uh, system is going to kind of skirt and clip the northern part of the state. What this will mean is a chance for some snow. This is not a major league snow. We don't have any warnings, watches, or advisories, but we're talking about snow in the north and northwestern mountains. The San Juans will be favored uh, out of this thing. Light to moderate accumulations. Maybe an inch of snow starting late tonight until Monday for Durango. Uh, that would be a generous portion of snow for you guys, but uh, not a whole lot out of this thing, but it'll eventually spread over to the northeast, and uh, you guys could pick up a few inches of snow out of this thing by the time it's all said and done. We'll have some very cool air behind this thing, so that'll be the most noticeable feature, but we'll start to see snow approaching the region as we get the clock going around midnight tonight. That's when we start to see it entering the Farmington, Durango area. This is going to be mainly favoring the mountains, but other areas could pick some up, but as you can see, it's mainly relegated to the northern part of the state, and by the time we get into Monday, it's really starting to thin out in the late night hours of Monday, kind of hanging on. So Raton, I-25 could get a little slippier, slippery, slippery as we get into tonight and tomorrow, but uh, not a huge storm, but we could pick up a few inches of snow. Snick, six inches of snow would be good out of this thing. Today's high is not too bad. Still very cold in the northwest. It's going to remain that way. We topped out at 48 here in Albuquerque, 57 in Tucumcari, near 60 down in Roswell. We are at 46 in Albuquerque. Winds are calm south, southeast at three miles per hour. Statewide, not bad at all. 41 in Grants, 28 in Cortez. We're at 43 in Silver City and the mid-50s down in Roswell. Let's look at our... Uh, northwestern part of the state. This is what you can expect. Snow showers starting late tonight, and they'll kind of hang on until about Monday. And then some very cool air behind this system. You guys have not really had a good break in the northwestern part of the state. As you can see here, uh, temperatures are going to dip down once again. We're going to get down into the negative territory once again overnight for Durango. We're talking negative 19 Monday night, uh, or actually Tuesday night. So very, very cold air is on tap for the northwest. Southwest New Mexico, partly sunny. Could see some isolated rain tomorrow night, although chances are not looking all that great. Temperatures will be in the 50s for the most part. And southeast New Mexico, pretty good for you guys. Didn't see much rain. We saw some scattered showers here and there. Partly cloudy and breezy easy for you guys. 60 in Roswell. 66, excuse me. Seven-day forecast shows uh, temperatures kind of seesawing in Roswell. We really dip those temperatures down Monday into Tuesday, going from 58 to 36 degrees. We'll eventually rebound by the end of the week. Northeast New Mexico, partly cloudy rain and snow on tap for you guys late tonight. More uh, Sunday evening into Monday is the best shot for snow in the northeastern part of the state. Once again, not a blockbuster storm. Rain and snow for the northern mountains tomorrow into Monday temperatures. Not too bad, but still pretty chilly. Santa Fe seven-day forecast shows our temperatures uh, dropping dramatically by the time we get mon to Monday into Tuesday, eventually warming up back into the 30s, but very, very cold air uh, on the way for us. Over in the East Mountains, maybe a snow shower tomorrow night. Not looking too great, but uh, we'll keep it in there, as I mentioned. And over in Albuquerque, you don't expect much in the way of precipitation. Partly sunny and calm tomorrow. And seven-day forecast shows some of that cold air invading the air. Man, this computer is slow today. It's all J jumpy there. Oh, you can see well, we kind of dipped down back into the 30s, but hey, we may reach the 50s by the end of the That's fantastic. Yeah, that's good. The highs, anyways. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Thank good. you, Ian. Here's a look at tonight's prime.